my free to play account is going to be getting one of the new legendary champions. The Ronda chase is now happening. There's seven days to get this hero, which is Ronda Rousey. If you don't know her, she is actually an Olympic medalist, not just an Olympic medalist, the first American female to earn the Olympic medal in judo by winning bronze at the 2008 Summer Olympics, all right? But she's also a professional a WWE performer, uh, an actress. Uh, anyway, she's been in a lot of stuff. Most people know her at this point if you've been on the internet a long time and she's all around the internet. So it's kind of funny to see her actually coming to Raid Shadow Legends. Let's see what kind of character she is. So her basic attack hits three times, good against Fire Knight. Places an extra hit if the target is less than 50% HP after the third hit. Wow, that's actually really good. So she just punches a bunch. Attacks an enemy three times, ignores shield buff and 30% of the target's defense. Block passive skills debuff for two turns before attacking. Debuff cannot be resisted. And also places the block active skills debuff for two turns after attacking. This debuff cannot be resisted. She's based upon attack, so you actually get a builder with attack. It makes sense for her theme. Attack all enemies two times. Damage is increased by 30% if this champion has more than 50% HP. Okay, so she just hits people a bunch. She's going to be good with like stun sets, etc. Immune to turn meter reduction effects when the skill is not on cooldown. Okay, decreases all turn meter reduction effects used against her when the skill is on cooldown. So she's just like, she's a brawler. Okay, so 15% chance to join an attack whenever an ally attacks an enemy. No way. This champion will attack with their default skill. Is this limited? This has got to have a cooldown on it, right? At the start of each round, places a shield buff on this champion for two turns equal to 40%. She just seems nuts. She actually seems nuts. Like she attacks a whole bunch. You're going to put Giant Slayer on her. She's going to chew right through the Fire Knight, which now makes sense with her ad. So they have an ad with her where she actually fights the Fire Knight, which makes sense with her skill set now. And the gear you get is actually really good. I mean, it's savage gear, so I'm not going to hate on that at all. And it's going to be some of our better gear. And that's probably going to be our first legendary. Because we are going to be doing the Raid X Ronda Rousey login for sure on the free to play. And I got to log on the main to make sure I get on the main too. I would hate to miss it. Collect our free clan boss stuff real quick. Warrior chest 2x. Give me a give me a shard, please. I would love a shard today. Did I misclick? Give me a shard, please. Would love a shard. Okay, no big deal. Don't get a shard. This one will give me a shard. No big deal. There it is. Nope. All right, no big deal. And there is a new promo code, which is, here we go, I misclicked. If we click Raid Ronda, that should be the new promo code. And just like that, we got some freebies. What we get, three day experience banner, a bunch of multi battles, which I'm actually gonna end up using, and some silver. I just realized she also has like a Glacial Fury skin, which kind of gives her like the Wolverine Nordish type of claws. Time to see if this gear will row a bunch of crit damage. And it's the only way they could save it because it's crit damage, HP, and resistance. No crit rate or attack or anything, but let's see what we get. Okay, road HP. Well, I'll give it another chance. I mean, still, we don't have very many options when it comes to Savage Gear. This is literally my only piece of Savage Gear, so I can't really... I can't really throw away or lift... What is it? Look a gift horse in the mouse? In the mouse? In the mouth? Good Lord, came and speak. Come on, give me a, give me a crit damage. Give me a crit damage, please. Dude. Honestly, this is the worst part of the game. Please. You just have to sit here and watch as your... You just have to watch as your gear gets slowly like, No, I don't want you. Nope, I don't want you. I'm going to roll resistance. It's like, dude, I get it. You're a contrarian piece of gear. You refuse to roll the obvious crit damage. You have to be subtle. I get it. But how about you be equally balanced in all things and you give us one crit damage row at least because you know i'm gonna have to upgrade you like i don't have any options here i'm gonna have to use this piece of gear and it knows it and it's trying to get away with rolling like resistance twice on me or something okay all right i'm gonna skip ahead okay here we go here we go here we go and dude i'm so done with this game and of course this is the one that wants to row crit damage of course so now i gotta take it to 12 just to see if it's gonna do it right I don't know if I'm supposed to be like happy about that or if I'm supposed to be mad about that because it, it literally did it. it. It did it on the one that was kind of the joke piece of gear they didn't really need to do anything on. And, and look at this one, right? I mean, look at this one. We're obviously trying to get HP. Okay, so let's give, let's give our, maybe our resilience gear for whatever reason is just going to be rolling tons of crit damage. We're about to be popping with the crit damage on resilience gear, maybe. I don't know. Nope. It, nope, it rode defense again. Forget it. What was I thinking for a moment? I was trying to wish my way into something decent, but you know what? Spit in one hand, wish in the other, and see which one gets full first, as my grandpa used to always say. 
So I wished for a sacred shard and I got my wish because I completed the weeklies. There we go. And I also have enough. Uh, nope, I don't want to do any of that. And uh, now I have enough that where I can buy even more shards. And you know what? I know people in, let's see, any freebies now. I know people uh, in the comments are going to be like, holy moly, DM, like you're, what are you doing? This is how I play the game. The only thing I want to do is get a shard for the day, open the shard for the day, and I progress however far the game needs me to progress in order to get my dopamine for the day. It's fun. It's the way I like playing it, and it's what makes it, for me, uh, a daily login, because that way I can look forward to my... I hated... I always used to save and, like, let me scrimp and save for the next fusion, but there's always a fusion. I mean, there's literally always a fusion. Hurler is interesting because it puts the target skills on cooldown for a rare. I like that. Um... But there's always some kind of fusion. So I feel like if I'm playing free to play and I'm just kind of messing around, uh, the best thing to do is just open the shards as I get them. And uh, I was not rewarded for my action. Apparently the joke's on me and I should have waited for a 2x because we just got bodied. This tempo from the mystery shard is going to make up fourth though. It's going to give us an apothecary. Just watch right here, apothecary, boom. All right, well, I had to try. Next thing at this point is basically just level up food, give as many four star and five star chickens as possible so that we can six star Arkel and use him to continue the climb. I'm actually surprised we're ranked four in any tournament. I don't even know what tournament I could be ranked for. Maybe champion training? Maybe, because I've been doing a lot of champion training. Where am I? Yeah, I'm ranked four in that one. Okay, which is what, 50 gems? If we can get ranked three, we can get some yikes. What is that, three star gear? Holy moly, that's... Uh, not very encouraging. <laughs> they actually have three-star gear as a reward. Wow. My kitty is meowing again. What is it, kitty cat? What do you want? She wants a special food, I think. Um, nope, we're going to sell that. Kitty, meow for good luck. Meow for good luck. No, nope, she's not going to do it. All right, well, I don't want that either. Um, can any of these actually do anything? You know what? I just realized I was doing deflection, and I, I didn't mean to do deflection. I was, I was going to be doing resilience but now I'm already doing deflection, which is the same as perception, and I could have been doing perception. So now I definitely I definitely made a mistake, but at this point I'm too far in to admit it, so we just gotta go all the way. Okay, five, five star defense percentage, whatever. I guess we'll have to take, yikes, that was a big W, or big L. I love that they're selling these skins at a discount. Could you imagine buying, the, like, buying a skin and then the next thing you see is it's on sale? Every League of Legends player has done that a million times. The next bit of dopamine is still this sacred shard, but again, we're stuck on farming the father. And if you want to see where we're at, I have been farming. We got one, two, three, four, five. We got six four stars right there. And these ones are going to be the next one. She's going to be the next one because I have two preservers for the fusion. Make some room by crunching the low graded guys. Get rid of some of the rares that I don't need and are never really going to do anything. Uh, like these ones. Normally, I like Retch for the HP burn super early. He was one of, when I pulled him early, um, he made me think of the guy from, there's there's a character in a fighting game called Killer Instinct that looks almost exactly like him. Might as well do the clan boss real quick. It's not bad. I feel like our damage is slowly getting better as we improve the gear, etc. That's a one key there, so that means we can move on to normal. Okay, so 1.4 on normal. I don't think that's enough for a one key. Yeah, we have to go for 3.6, which is a pretty big gap in terms of where we are and where we need to be. I am mostly just worried about the campaign, which means for that, we just really need to six star Kel and give him the absolute like best gear treatment we can. Um, and we are almost there. I just got the, well, actually we're not almost there. Now I think about it, we've got like six four star chickens and we need, a lot more than that so we have to go farm a lot more but luckily what we do have is we have the multi battles and we've also got the energy etc so we'll be able to do it no problem i'm just going to collect one of those multi battles right now and go run some campaign that's going to do it for this episode you can watch the previous ones if you want they'll be recommended here at the end thanks so much for watching the free the play series love y'all let me know what you think of the new hero and the promo code is raid ronda see you on the next one